buggery, buggery, get up on your feet. Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another edition of the DW uh, Show. I, I, uh, it's Thursday, the day after the NASCAR press conference last night, announcing the new uh, NASCAR uh, point system to determine who the champion is going to be. And and uh, and and afterwards, uh, Jeff Hammond, Steve Burns, and I responded a little bit to, to what we had seen. Um, but as I've sat back and reflected a little bit about what happened last night. I was thinking uh, how NASCAR, Brian France and Mike and all of them, could have done a little bit better job, I think, of presenting uh, the new point system. I want to I just quickly, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just want to quickly show you why I think it's a good idea uh, of, of simplifying the point system. has nothing to do, I get all these twi tweets, I get all these emails of, oh, well, you're insulting our intelligence. No, 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 we're not. I know you know, uh, that's hard, us, us gearheads, we know what the old point system was, and we, we understand it, but there's a lot of people that don't, and uh, you kind of got to let the majority rule, and I think there are more that don't than do, and even people that have been in this sport for years, like me, you can get confused, and let me, let me show you why. Here's the new point system, and, and it's, it's, just, it's just a basic uh, progression, you know, uh, degression. From 43 all the way down, we'll just go to 12 because that's how many people are in the chase. You get down to 12, you get 32 points to finish 12th place. Pretty easy to understand, pretty easy to say, hey, I finished 10th, I got 34 points. That's pretty simple. 10 from 43, I got 34, right? Here's the old system. It starts off, you get 180 for a, for the, for a, a win, and then it, it drops off five points down to sixth place. So 80 is, you get five bonus points for winning. So 80, 70, 65, 60, 55, 50 to the sixth place finish. Then from six down to 11th, you get a four point drop. Now, Bob Laffer designed this system uh, back in the 70s. And what he was thinking was, uh, you know, the higher up in the points you finish, the more points you should get. And the lower, the less points you should get. And so he went, went with the five point increment then four down to 11th, and then from 11th on down to the to 43, it drops off three points. So as you can see, if you finish uh, 12th, you get 32 points, but under the old system, you would have got 127. Now, how did you come up with 127? Because if you don't know it drops five, four, three, uh, you're not going to be able to explain that, or you're not going to understand that. And then you throw in the bonus points of most laps led, uh, and they have the five bonus already in for the win. Uh, and, and a lap led, and it gets these numbers up here kind of com convoluted. So this system is going to be a little simpler. Now if you, you get 43 for a win, if, and, and you get three bonus points for the win, so that gives you 46. If you lead a lap, which you have to, or you couldn't have won, you get a bonus point. And so that's 47. And if you lead the most laps, you get another bonus point, and that comes out to 48. You don't think... You conspiracy theorists out there, you don't think they chose 48 for some? Oh, no, I don't even. I don't even want to go there. I wouldn't even. I'm not trying to start anything. I'm just saying. You know what I'm just saying? But you know what it could be? I could, I heard Kevin Harvick say that his passcode on his cell phone is 4848. So every time he enters that code, it will make him think about Jimmy Johnson and how he wants to go out and kick his butt this year. So maybe NASCAR thought, well, every time that uh, one, the one thing you don't want to have is for the 48 to get 48 points every week. Yeah, maybe. Let's all stick together. I have those black helicopters. Oh, 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 man, they scare me to death. And they follow me everywhere I go. And I know who's in them. <laughs> anyway, last night, it was kind of basic uh, presentation. Thought with, you know, with again, with all the smart people, NASCAR media group and everybody else, a nice video presentation of showing the old and the new and why we're doing what we're doing and why the new is going to be better than the old. I thought that would have gone a long way in, uh, in, in cooling some people's jets a little bit because a lot of people are all up in arms about, you know, well, why are they doing this? Nothing wrong with the old one. Let me just, if you take this, this new point system and apply it to last year, Guess who would have won the championship? Yeah, Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> but guess how much he would have won it by? One point. 
he would have won it by one point over Kevin Harvey. That's exciting. That's close. That's what we're looking for. A little, a little suspense here. A little in, being, you know, some intensity. And guess who would have finished third? Denny Hamlin. And he would have only lost by two points. And so those first three guys, Jimmy would have still won. Kevin would have passed Denny, and Denny would have finished third. But it would have been up two points from third to first. That's exciting. It's, it, a lot of it, I know, I know, I know. People say, oh, that's, it's just numbers and perception. Oh, yeah, duh. That's what it is. You want it to, you want your fans, people watching, you want to say, okay, my guy's not out of it. He's still got a chance. He's only five points back. He's only 10 points back. Not 127 or, or 140, whatever, last, uh, whatever you, you might fall behind the leader if you finish dead last. So I like the forget simple. I just like it because it's clean. And uh, in, 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 a heart, in, a, in an instant on TV, you can look at it, you know where the guy finished. He finishes in this position, he gets that many points, it's a done deal. So enough about that. I spent three days in Daytona testing, and I know a lot of you watched on the live stream on, the, on speed.com and got a lot of really positive comments about it. And thank you for everybody that watched. Uh, one day there, I think we had like 350,000 people. Most of them at work, I might add, <laughs> but I won't say anything about that if you won't. Uh, watching, uh, watching our telecast or our streaming, I guess it would be, um, and that and that's really exciting. And I think that opened a lot of people's eyes. It's not like we they didn't know, but uh, when you actually put something out there and people respond to it in a positive way, uh, I think we'll see some more of that coming down the line. Uh, matter of fact, I heard the speed was going to do quite a bit more of that. So, but while we were testing. Got a whole page full of testing notes, just like Larry McReynolds, I take a lot of notes. <laughs> um, but anyway, the thing that was fascinating to me, and, and we didn't, we got into it as much as we possibly could, but the data acquisition that the teams use today is phenomenal. Uh, they can monitor so many things on that car. We saw some kind of little device that Carl Edwards even had hanging outside of the rear wheel to measure the deflection and the side force in the rear end housing and the tire. I'd never seen that before, but it just shows you what an engineer can dream up if he's given enough time. And, and uh, that, that was something I'd never seen before, but, but there was a light shining down underneath the car that was, that was uh, measuring ride height and the front to rear. Uh, things that in, infrared sensors on the tires to measure the heat, what the tire heat was through the corners and if you had your camber right, when well, you need to adjust that. Uh, so much telemetry, and uh, it was just, it really, uh, it was an engineer's at, at heyday uh, down there for three days, but I think the guys learned a lot, and the track's fast. We were seeing speeds of over 200 miles an hour, 203, 205, going down into turn one. Folks, that's fast corner entry right there. And then we saw the two-car draft where these guys just absolutely lock up, and they pick up 14 miles an hour. They were running around 185 miles an hour, uh, and, and once they hooked up and started to push each other, two-car draft, they got up to 198 miles an hour. So uh, just amazing to watch two cars hooked up. They're not, there's not a gap. They're solid, locked up, going around that racetrack. They look like little slot cars going through the corner. And I, I, it's fascinating to watch, and everybody practiced that, thinking they're going to be able to use that in a race. I don't know if they will when everybody gets out there or not, but... Uh, they're certainly going to try. The new payment was awesome. Uh, the polymers that they use in the asphalt mix today, it gives the track a lot of grip. It's, pr it's real smooth. Uh, that helps the guys as far as where they want to, they can drive their car anywhere they want to go. That should make for some exciting three wide, four wide, five wide, and upside down racing. That's what it's about going to be. It's going to be like days of thunder. They're going to come off turn four and close your eyes because this could be the big one. So that's, that's going to be fun to watch. We'll get down there for the Bud Shootout in a couple of weeks. We'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be an exciting time in Daytona. Um, some changes, as you well know, in the car. New nose, much better. Car looks pretty darn good. And there's a lot more that, uh, that, that I could talk to you about today. But right now, I think the new pavement, the testing that we saw, the new point system, uh, the new nose on the car, new, 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 a lot of new stuff which will make 2011 very exciting going in. We got a lot of really compelling storylines. Got the crew chief changes at Hendrick. 
see how Junior's going to do, see how Jeff Gordon's going to do. Uh, you know, those are going to be things we're going to be following. Can Carl Edwards, uh, the guy that's favored, knock Jimmy Johnson off the, off, the, off the throne? I don't think so, but maybe he can, and I hope he can. I like Carl. And uh, a whole lot more. So uh, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week.